Hello guys, today we'll discuss how we can show a vertical list in Kotlin using Cycler View. Actually using Cycler View we can show different kind of lists, a horizontal list, reverse horizontal list or a grid layout. But in this video we'll only discuss vertical list today. This is the first video of the series. In next videos we will discuss about the other type of layouts what we can show using Cycler View. So let's get started. My name is Asad Ali and I am a professional software engineer having experience in mobile apps development. In this video series, we will discuss solutions to the common problems a mobile developer have to face. So please subscribe my channel so that you should get updates of my latest videos. Okay, uh, so as you know, I always share source code before recording a video. So here uh, the source code is present on my website and the link handypn.com that is mentioned in the description. So you can just copy or follow the same code which I will follow in this video. Okay. So before get started, first of all, make sure that you have recycler view dependency in your app level builder gradle. Just open uh, app level builder gradle from here and add a dependency. For that, you have two options. As mentioned in the link, uh, if you're using Android X, then you need to add this dependency. And if you're using sport library, then you can add this dependency okay so first of all we need to create a list item which we are going to populate in a recycler view item underscore list well so here uh, instead of writing the same code again I will just copy it from the link as I just mentioned before Okay, so in this code we only have one text view, here it is, and using our recycler view we will populate this text view multiple times and we will just update the text for each item. Okay, now we just need to create a custom adopter, I will explain it later what it is. Custom adopter a class okay for this just copy the code from the link okay so first of all I will explain what is custom adopter custom adopter is responsible for populating our recycler view items so here it's just a class which is extended from recycler view adopter and in its constructor I am passing two things first is context and the second one is array list of my data then we have another inner class view holder this view holder is responsible to give a list item to our adopter in this view holder item view is coming as a parameter in constructor Using this item view, we can access our all views we have in our layout. So uh, you can see here I have only one text view, TV label, and in this view holder, I'm accessing it and initializing its object. Okay. In our view holder, we have one bind method. This bind method it gets called every time a list item is going to be updated. Okay. So that's the end of our view holder class. Then in our custom adopter, which is extended through cycler view adopter, we override two methods on create view holder and on bind view holder. On create view holder gets called only once when we are going to inflate our list item in our cycler view, and bind view holder gets called when each item is going to be populated. And this get item count, it's nothing, it's just returning the size of the data okay we are good next uh, now open activity underscore main your activity xml and here we need to add recycler view i will put width match parent i match parent we also need to be put to id Yes. 
type name underscore view using this tools list item we can assign our list item which is only visible here in our XML file so you can see our resulting recycler view will look like this okay now go back to your main activity here we need to get reference of that recycler view for that recycler view to equal to find view by id recycler view r dot id dot recycler view okay we also need to create object of our adopter class for that adopter custom adopter as we can see here it takes two parameters in constructor a context and the list of our data so first pass context and then data for data create an array list data array list of type string okay and here I will populate few values in my data array list I in 1 to 50 data dot add item then I okay now I need to set a layout manager to my recycler view view dot layout manager is equal to linear layout manager it also takes context as a parameter okay then now we need to assign this adopter to our recycler view recycler view dot adopter is equal to our adopter that's it now just run this code and it should work okay so here you can see the list is populated from items 1 to 50 that's it so this is the first video of the series in this video we discuss the vertical list but in the next videos we'll discuss how we can show horizontal list and then grid then how we can pass our on data class array list to our custom adopter thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel to get updates of my latest videos thank you